Welcome to Bradford White's Product Knowledge Series. I'm Jason Pfeiffer. Uh, today, I'm here with Dustin Bowerman. Hi, Dustin. Hi, Jason. Um, he's our technical support manager. Um, and today, I'm going to be talking about Bradford White's exciting new um, control technology, the ICON system. Um, so, Dustin, can you just go into a little bit of the features and benefits? I see this is more modern, uh, more sleek design than what's normally incorporated on a standard water heater. Sure. The, uh, the, as you know, more modern. Yep. It, it, there are advances in technology. Mm -hmm. Uh, temperature sensing, yep. uh, one great advantage. Uh, tighter tolerances. Mm -hmm. We're doing this based on thermistors. Okay, thermistors uh, emerged into a temperature well. Okay. Okay. It's so this is an immersed thermal well. So it, it, it's inside the tank. The the temperature sensing device is actually in a well, okay. which is in the water. Uh, going to a benefit, you no longer have to drain the water heater and to change the control. And and that's great for the contractor. It definitely, saves them time. definitely. Okay. Uh, with that, you're gaining accuracy, okay. tighter differentials, okay. uh, more hot water okay. in, the, and, in the end. And and this control does, uh, does it have a thermal couple or is it like a some other sort of system? Well, it is. It's a learning control. Okay. There's logic built into the control. Okay. And we're actually generating power from a thermal pile. Oh, okay. Think of it as it's a super thermal couple. Okay. Standard thermal couple will go up to 30 millivolts. Okay. This has potential of 750. Great. Uh, very easy to diagnose and to troubleshoot, but again, it's given us the diagnostics, the features for uh, more efficiency in, in fixing equipment. Okay. So this absolutely helps out the contractor to kind of diagnose what's wrong with the water heater yes. instead of kind of you know, picking and choosing what could go wrong. Correct. Okay, Correct. great. Um, and does this incorporate any ele um, external electricity or anything, or is it just No, as, as a thermal pile, you're, you're again generating a high millivoltage, okay. which is going to run the microprocessor and the control. Great. Uh, learning control, there's multiple status lights. Okay. Uh, safety controls built in. Great. Pilot outage, it'll, it'll not allow it to be relit. Okay. Uh, so, we, so it's it's really an intelligent control. Our our Bradford White's icon system. Very much so. Very okay. much so. Yes. Great. Thanks. Okay. Let me share with you. Um, on the icon system, we're going to go from the off to the pilot position. Mm -hmm. Okay. Going to depress the red button. Okay. And while hitting the piezo, it lit on the first attempt. You okay. may have to hit it more than once. Okay. Perfect. So we're holding the uh, pilot lighting button. Button. We're going to watch for the green LED okay. to signal. And it uh, could take up to 90 seconds. A minute and a half, 90 seconds, okay. yes. So as we're holding that in, we're going to watch for the light. Okay. Well, there it is. It flashes okay. slowly. Let go of the button. Okay, perfect. Okay. Then you're going to turn it to your desired temperature setting. Okay. Okay. So you turn this up. Mind you, I've set up a, a failure okay. in this control. So as the, the contractor setting his temperature, mm -hmm. in this case, the failure code is identifying something's not right okay okay using the diagnostic label okay great it's gonna be right next to the control we count the number of flashes well that's great for the installer I mean, I mean he can check the the uh, diagnostics of this rather easily with that label oh, correct there are there are multiple diagnostic codes okay um, now, what was in this saying? case it, it this looks is like it's it's five pulses one, on two, this. Three, four, five. yep perfect Five flashes is a thermostat well sensor fault. Okay, so there's, there, there's probably something wrong with it, the thermal it, well. It's telling us something okay. with temperature sensing. Okay, great. And then to diagnose that, there's gonna we would go to the service manual or simply investigate the thermostat okay. well. What are the steps that we can do in order to correct this? Well, the thermostat sensor in the well, they're located behind the icon control. Okay. Uh, what I've already done is I've loosened the screw, okay. taking the screw out here. We want to access inside the control right. and you want to be careful there's wires connected here okay so I'm slowly removing this a little wiggle there you should uh, you can see this wire here uh, okay. should be connected gotcha again I've already set that up but to show the simplicity okay you have a control take it apart plug this back in We're going to put the control back in place making sure not to pinch any wires perfect top going in first yep make sure it lines up Perfect. Back in. You got your single screw. You yep. put it back in. Make sure it's tight. Okay. Confirm all your connections. Okay. And go back through the lighting process. Okay, great. Now that we diagnosed the problem um, and we found out it was actually pretty easy, especially with the intelligent diagnostics of the ICON system, we're going to go into the lighting procedure. Yeah, we're turning the control to the pilot position from the off position. Okay. Depress the pilot button. I'm going to push the piezo until it lights. It may take multiple times. Yep. And we got to purge the gas line. Okay. 
We're going to watch our status light. Okay, great. Looking for the green again. It's 90 seconds or a minute and a half. And so when it starts to pulse, that's when the... the yeah, that's when we, we release the button. Okay. Traditional thermal couples may only be 20 to 30 seconds. Okay. So it is a little bit of a difference, but it's well worth the wait. Okay. Well, it looks like it's blinking now. Okay. So you let go of the button. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to want to be clear. Make sure. Don't try this at home. Yep. Okay. As we turn it to the desired temperature setting, the burner will come on. And there's our burner operation. It's that simple. All right, Dustin, um, can the ICON system be used on, on any older control, either a White Rogers or a Robert Shaw pre-FEIR or FEIR water heater? Yeah, it's, it's set up as a universal control okay. so that we will be able to replace both, as you said, Robert Shaw and White Rogers, Flamo Vapor, and before. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, what I've done is removed the outer door, the inner door. Okay. Okay. And we're going to go through the, the changing process. Okay. Okay. Just loosen up these. I already had these loosened up. Thermal couple. Take that out. Okay. You can go ahead and set that aside. What we'll be doing with the pilot assembly is changing the pilot assembly complete. Okay. Pilot, single screw held into its place. Really easy. Yeah. So we'd set that over there with a burner. The control with the water heater drained down. Okay. We're going to spin the control out. Okay. Set that aside and see the old Invar rod, new technology here. So we spin that in. And again, you'll tighten that to yep. make sure there's no leaks. Okay. Fill your water heater back up with water. Okay, perfect. And then we'd reinstall the burner assembly once the pilot's put in place. Dustin, now that we removed the older gas valve and we installed the new ICON system, can we still use the same burner assembly? Yeah, the same burner assembly itself can be used. Uh, we will have to change pilot assemblies. We're going to the higher output thermal pile. So I've got the screw re released for you. All right, so, so just kind of take this take off, that off. Like Yep. New pilot assembly goes in its place. Same screw? Same screw. Okay. Just like that? Just like that. We tighten that down. In some cases, there's a, a feed line spring that can be used mm -hmm. for proper gas distribution uh, to ensure the operation we're looking for. All right. And then um, for specific details regarding that feed line, they would have to go into the instruction Oh, right. Guide. The use of the spring, they'll, they'll refer to the service manual that's available on our website. All right. You reinstall the burners, you would any other. Uh, so tighten it up, check for leaks, and uh, you're enjoying the, the benefits of the new ICON system. That's pretty much it. That's, that's, uh, that's amazing. It's a... Uh, Intelligent control, yes, ICON system. All right, Dustin, um, now that we installed the existing burner into the combustion chamber, um, what do we do next? Well, what I've done is, again, the burner's in there. Mm -hmm. Got the, the connections, feed line, pilot tubing okay. tightened up. Your pilot wires coming out from your thermal pile, okay. you have a red and a white. Okay. Red wire is going to go to what I call the low sider, the, the, the lowest terminal okay. on the resettable thermal switch. Again, that's on flammable vapor equipment only. Mm -hmm. We reinstall the door. The door is going to go into place, being sure to, to double check your gasket materials, making sure that it's, it's adequate and going to provide the seal necessary. Door goes into place. The kit will be coming with an additional wire to connect mm -hmm. from your limit switch to the left terminal on your control. The white wire goes to the right side. Make sure you connect your piezo. All your connections are secure, no gas leaks. That's easy. And you're, following, you're ready to follow the lighting instructions. Wonderful. Yeah, super, super simple. Dustin, one of the key advantages of the ICON system is that it can be used as a universal replacement. Uh, so what do we have here is the um, universal kit. Can you just right. go into some of the components? Yeah, what, what our goal was to assemble a kit, mm -hmm. something that's going to allow flammable vapor, pre-flammable vapor, White Roger, Robert Shaw controls, anything we can replace. Okay, and so in the in the kit, we take out some of these components, the face plate, which in, which incorporates the electronics on the back of it. So our diagnostic codes, yep. if they say bad control, we got the pieces here. You can hold this up here and help me. 
with one inch cavity water heaters. Okay. One inch backing plate. Do we have one for two inch? Two inch cavities. Okay. Two inch backing plate. Uh, previously, I talked to you about the feed line spring. Yeah, we went okay. into that. Mm -hmm. Gas distribution spring. Gaskets, inner door gaskets, very part of the uh, very important part of the flammable vapor controls. Mm -hmm. Piezo feed line bushing, wires necessary. Again, it's a complete kit, regardless of what you need. It's in here. Pilot, Pilot assemblies. Okay. okay. And lastly, we have what I call the control body. Okay. So in some cases, you need only the control body. You take off the front cover, replace the control, mm -hmm. put the existing cover back in its place. So mm -hmm. again, it's a kit as a wholesaler. Mm -hmm. You have everything you need in one box. So it's just one kit for many gas valves. Many so gas valves. Well, inventory for the wholesaler. Contractors um, alike, they have one box yep. that's going to supply or replace everything that's on the table. Great. So, big advantage. All right, Dustin, uh, we just went into the advantages of the universal gas valve kit. Um, it looks like we have, have other kits here. Can you just go into this a little yeah, bit? Yeah, what I brought an example of one of the kits, so okay. one of many. Uh, this one's specific for the one-inch cavity water heaters. Okay. We also have them for two-inch cavity, different temperature settings. 160 or 180 residential. Natural gas LP. Okay. Exactly. So the, I'll take some of the components out. Uh, feed line adapter. Replacing a Robert Shaw control, you'll need a feed line adapter, making the existing feed line burner assembly reusable. Yep. Door gaskets. Perfect. Okay. Uh, feed line spring. Okay. Proper gas distribution. Okay, go right out front. The pilot assembly, again, an uh, integral part of the ICON system. Mm -hmm. Pilot assembly to generate the necessary power for the electro electronics and the control. Complete system. Yeah. Complete control, thermal well, piezo, it's all in. assembled. You spin the old control out or the standard control out. New one goes in its place. Okay. Redo your connections. This is also great for the wholesaler since you know they can stock one box and, and one control instead of you know many other gas valves, and it's right. great for the uh, the contractor. Yeah, too. one kit for one inch, one kit for two inch. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's referring to inches of insulation. Yeah. So great. Universal. I think it's going to work great. Another great feature. Yes, sir.